All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that wrote well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing this truth and sincerity by Shimra Clark Wadash. You know, I've been meditating lately, you know, about how much we need to get out of this current situation that we're in, how much I perceive, you know, all sincere, hopeful, elect desire to, you know, live a real life, okay, where you don't have to worry about, you know, dangers and, uh, you know, problems, you know, trials, tribulations, miscarrying in the truth, you know, yeah, we, you know, there's a better place than this place here, you know, there's a better place than what has been, um, transpiring on the earth, you know, so I want to go into how, um, the kingdom is, is better than this place, man, you know, you got a lot of people saying that they're, they're, they're not ready to repent because, um, they feel like they're going to miss out on something. Well, you know, we're here to tell you that as people that have, um, you know, made mistakes and, you know, lived worldly, you know, we, we, we realize that, you know what, you're, you're not missing anything. And there's, there's, this is not living. There's a better place than this, man. You know, the kingdom is better than, than what you see today on the earth. <clears throat> this is second Ezra 9 and 20. So I considered the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it. Okay, now when you look up this word peril, it means a serious and immediate danger, okay, right? What does it say here? Exposure to the risk of being injured, destroyed, or lost, danger, fire, okay, so put, to, put the city in peril. Something that imperils or endangers, right? Exposed to danger, threatened, you see? You consider the world, man, and you can be injured. You can be destroyed or lost in this world. So we consider the world. And we consider the world that we're living in now. You know? And it's full of danger because of the devices that would come into it. Right? The inventions, the purposes, the schemes. Okay? But the kingdom of heaven is not going to be like that. So what, what do you think you're missing out on? Well, you're not missing out on anything, man. Really? You know, we we and are in dire need to get out of this place, man. You know, and if possible in one piece. But we know that that is <clears throat> ultimately up to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai what our lot is. You know. Let's see. Let me go here. Actually, let me get the Book of Micah first. Right, because we know this place is dangerous, man, and it'll destroy you. Okay, it says, Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. Okay, right. Arise and depart from the ways of America, you know, the ways that you've been taught. You know, that Babylonian juice we've been drinking for so long. You know, we need to get out of here, man. You know, we, we, we need... A place where there's rest, man. A place where there's peace, you know. A place where there's no danger. There's no trouble of being destroyed or lost. You know. I perceive a lot of people don't want to, you know, come into the truth or hear the truth because they don't want to change. They're not ready. But, you know, change is a work in progress, man. But if you stay here, according to Micah 10, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. All right. It's not asking you. It's telling you, you know, even with the sword destruction. Okay. Let's look at this word polluted. Strong change 29 and 30. Tame. Tame. It says polluted to be unclean. Okay. Be, become unclean. Become impure. Okay. The world will make you unclean, impure. It says sexually, religiously, ceremonially, to defile oneself, be defiled. Okay? Idolatry, right? You know, everybody got that Jesus, okay? Burned and etched in their soul, you know? That's, that makes you unclean. 
Okay, that, that makes you defiled. You're worshiping these other gods, believing all these philosophies. You know, that's what this world will do to you. Have you blind to who your oppressor is, you know, and to all the madness that he's taught you over the years, you know? You come back and, you know, the Lord said, will he find faith? Well, you know, n n no, because you need to depart. This is not your rest. You're, you're not going to find no rest in these churches. You're not going to find no rest, okay, in the schools and the institutions of higher learning. Why? Because this place is polluted, man. In every sense of the word, it shall destroy you even with a sort of destruction, right? There's certain decisions that you can make that will really destroy you, you see? That's why we need to get out of this place, man. You know? You got the wicked ruling, letting all kinds of evil just run, run rampant in the world. You know? You know, we're worried about our decisions we make. We're, we're, we're worried about our children. We're worried about, um, you know, the condition of the world that, that it's in. You know? This is Job 9 24. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right, we're, we're living in a fantasy world, okay? People think it's, um, how do I say? People think that this world, okay, that, that, you know, they believe in the whole American dream and you control your destiny and, well, to a certain extent, you know, you have to work and you have to sustain yourself. But in the grand scheme of things, man, everything in this world is, is basically a lie, you know? And there's people that control this world, you know, an upper elite, an echelon of people that, you know, they're perpetrating a, you know, a, a whole lie, life of deception, a whole, um, you know, the Matrix, if you will. If you ever see that movie Matrix, you come to understand that everything you see, smell, touch or taste is, 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 is fabricated by, by somebody. You know, they tell you, you're born into a, a life and they tell you how to think. They tell you what is good and what is wrong. Well, them lines are being erased, okay, in the earth, okay? People are saying that evil is good and good is evil, you know? And we need salvation from this, you know? We need salvation from these lies, from this, uh, the covering cast, okay, of wickedness in the earth. We need salvation from ourselves, you know, from the things that we do, our miscarries, our mis, you know, our, our mishaps, you know? But, you know, you got people out there, you know, I'm, I'm talking about these elites, the wicked, Esau, man, th this is Disneyland for them, man. You know, we look around and we say, you know what, we need to get out of here. We need to find a better place. And there's something better than this. But you got people, this is right up their alley. This is, they, they love it here. They like it. You know, but we like, we like peace, man. We, you know, we seek for peace. We seek, you know, not to go off anymore. We seek, all right, a better place than this, man. Because here it is, you know, we don't we, we were blind to the fact of who our true God was. Because the wicked have um, covered the faces of the judges, didn't teach us who we are. Okay, they know who we are. These other nations, they know who we are. They know who the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are. We are a royal, royal and a holy people. But do you think they taught our children in the schools? No, they're teaching them Christmas. They're teaching them all this other stuff. That has no real profit. It's all vanity. Because it comes to nothing. It's nothing. And this is the type of world that we live in. So yeah, there is a better place. There is a better place than this. And it's called the kingdom of heaven. And that's where we... This is where we hope to... Uh, we hope to, you know, rec receive entrance into the kingdom of heaven. This is Second Peter 3 <clears throat> and 13. It says... Uh, Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. Okay, we're looking for and hasting unto the coming of the Most High. We're looking forward to that day. Okay, and we're hasting it. We want it to come. You know, some days more than others. Some days the Heavenly Father has you. You know, you're doing good. Things are okay. You know, then some days you know you're like, damn, I, we need to get up out of here. You know, and I know a lot of people feel the same. I know a lot of brothers feel the same about about that, you know, seeing then that all these things, Salakia, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be destroyed, okay, and the elements shall melt with the fervent heat, you see, okay, the governments, Babylon, 
America, the White House, the, the Pentagon, all these higher places, okay, where people believe that the rulers of, of America, where they dwell and their monuments, man, it's all going to get burned down. All these idols that are set throughout the world, especially here in America, they're going to be on fire. It says, and the elements shall melt with the fervent heat. The elements. Now, we know elements are in every single thing that is created. Well, all that's going to melt, all the elements that create things are going to melt. So that means it's going to be a hot fire. It's going to melt everything and anything. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, right? Nevertheless, we know what's going to happen. We know the outcome, you know? We know what's going to happen in the near future. There's going to be a, a third world's war. Okay, we know that there's going to be, the Lord is coming to save his elect, but also coming to destroy, okay, with those those UFOs. And there's been a lot more sightings. They're everywhere. They're popping up all over social media. These lights, these things that are flying in the sky. We know them now to be the vehicles of salvation and of, and a curse unto the wicked, okay? They're, they will be destroyed. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell the righteousness, Right, we're looking for a new heavens and a new earth. We're looking for a new rulership, okay? Where what dwelleth righteousness? We're looking for a new earth where there's where it's righteous, man. We're at peace with another. You know, there's no more sadness, man. There's no more going off. You know, we're not making mistakes. We're not. Um, we're not in danger. We're not. Our kids are not in danger. You know, there's a lot of. <clears throat> there's been. Um, a lot of um what do you call it um human trafficking that's real big nowadays there's people are being um sacrificed that's wicked this is the world we live in <clears throat> you know people are getting shot and killed judgments going out left and right the scriptures say under the under the sun is the place of judgment something to that effect in ecclesiastes so yeah there's going to be judgment going on there's going to be slaughters and 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 you know the, the issues of death belong to the lord so we're looking for another place, man, or in dwell of the righteousness, okay, where there's no lies, you know, all these books and this information, it's all, it's all, you know, perpetrated by who? By the wicked, because given into his hand, he makes the rules, he makes the money, he tells you, you know, who can get a vehicle, who can't, who can get a loan, and we got to go to them for loans, we got to go to them for everything, you know, we're slaves, we're, we're, we're in a matrix of, of bullshit, you know, this isn't life, man, you know, but we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth, we're in dwell of righteousness, you see, let me get this, this is Revelation 21, let's see, it says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, okay, that new heaven, okay, it's a new rulership and a new earth, okay, because the earth is going to be the earth abides forever, but it's going to be changed into something where it's righteousness, true, true judgment, holiness, you know, separate from the wicked law, judgment, statute, and commandments put in our inward parts. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for a place where there's peace and tranquility. There's no more anger. There's no more, you know, you don't got to watch your back, man. Not with anybody, you know, not even with your own self, you know. It says, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. That first heaven is talking about that rulership of Esau, okay? Because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, and the first earth were passed away, okay? So that that, that earth, where it's going to be cleansed. Let me get this. Let's go back to the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah. I wanted to bring something out. Because basically, you know, the New, the New Testament, you know, reiterates... Um, the prophets, you know, the disciples reiterated um, certain things from the Old Testament. This Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Right? The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Let's look at this word defile real quick. See what we can get out of there. <clears throat> defiled. Strong's H2610. Hanaf. Hanaf. Wow, to be profaned, be defiled, be polluted. You see, the earth, uh, what do we read in Micah 2 and 10? Arise ye and depart for it is polluted. Be corrupt, it's corrupt. Corrupt politicians. There's corruption at work. You know, you got favorites at work. You know, 
to be profane, be godless, right? It's godless, you know? It's a godless America. Not God bless America. It's godless America. You see? The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, right? They've broken the laws, especially the land Sabbath. That's one thing the brothers really like to bring out. How the earth was supposed to be um, tilled for six years. And then seven years, you gave the earth a whole rest. Well, they're raping the earth. Taking everything out of the earth. Who? The wicked. All right? The super greedy. The super elites. They want to, you know, plow the earth till it, you know, it just can't be plowed anymore. Or take out all the resources. Take out all the things out of the, out of the sea that need to be there. Take all the gold and, and silver out of the out of the water, which really silver cleans water, you know. Transgress the laws, change the ordinances, right? They change everything about uh, the laws, statutes, and commandments. What you're supposed to do in this situation, what you're supposed to do in that situation. Yeah, they even changed all that. Strong's age twenty seven oh six. Hulk. Hulk. Limit, right? They changed the limits of things. Something prescribed do, and the Lord prescribed everything in the Bible, man. Prescribed try. That's what you got the uh, the first five books, man. Of uh, the first five books in the Bible tell you, you know how to do what to do in certain situations. A prescribed task, prescribed portion, prescribed do, pres action prescribed for oneself, right? Even for yourself, what do you do in this situation? Specific decree, law in general, enactment, statutes, conditions, enactments, decrees, civil. Wow, civil enactments prescribed by the Most High, right? You know, things, if something happened between two people, there was things prescribed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, given to Moses and, 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 you know, to judge the people and what to do. Yeah, well, they changed all those things, man. Now you got unrighteous decrees, you know, you got all kinds of laws and stuff that, you know, that you could actually get caught up in it and it, it, it's, they're not righteous judgments. This has broken the everlasting covenant. Right. Right. The covenant belonged to the Israelites, man. All right. Not to anybody else. You know, but you got you got these heathens wanting to be Israelites, man. You know, got these these fake gutter rats who are completely out of their minds. When you go into the teachings of the Talmud, those Amalekites, those supposedly Jews, when you go into what they really believe in, that, that stuff is wicked, you know. Big time, it's real wicked. <clears throat> but in any event, this is uh, Isaiah 24 and 6. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth. Right, the earth is kind of cursed at this moment, man. You know? And they that dwell therein are desolate. They that dwell therein are desolate. Let's see what desolate means. Asham. Strong's H, H16. Asham. Asham. To suffer punishment. To declare guilty, to be incriminated. To be guilty, to trespass. Okay, right. Our, the earth is cursed. Everybody's in a, in, in, you know. You know, we're under curses for disobeying the Lord. You know, how about You know. So, yeah, we're guilty. We're guilty of, of, um. You know, having went through the ways of the world, have been trespassing against the Lord, being guilty of, of not doing the things according to the law, judgment, statutes, and commandments. This is therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. And this is talking to a future judgment because it's a curse. Okay, them chariots coming to destroy the wicked, that's a curse, man. Okay. And there's gonna be few people left. There's only gonna few gonna make it. This is what we, we teach, man. The future judgment that is coming upon the world. Okay. We're prophet even unto the nations. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, we 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 uh we're we're hoping we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth, man. Okay. We're in dwell the let me let me get this again real quick. Salakia, my bad. Nevertheless, we according to his promise, all right? Nevertheless, according to the promise, how Bashimi Ashai, that if we followed his commandments in these last days by the prophets and the men that he rose up, you know, coming back to the understanding, you know, we would be saved, man, out of, out of what? The hand of our enemies, and that we would worship the Heavenly Father without fear. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where indwelleth righteousness. Okay. 
you know what? Let me go back. That's what we're looking for, man. A new heaven, a new earth. Why? Because it's dangerous here, man. You know? And it can destroy you. You know? Looking for a better place, man. Where I dwell with righteousness, a new heaven and a new earth. <clears throat> it says, This is uh, Revelation 21 and 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Okay? Right? Jerusalem is a people before it is a place coming down from the Most High out of heaven. Right? Before them, that curse of the chariots destroys everything, we're going to be beamed up. And then we're going to come down to inhabit the earth again, a better earth, a clean earth. A more righteous place where there's no more. Well, I'm going to read it. It's so prepared as a bride or done for her husband. Right? Lord willing, I can get into a, um, a video about um, us being the bride. Us Israelites being the bride. And Yahweh Bashim Shai being the husband. Okay? Yahweh the Most High will be with us. It says, and I heard a great voice out of the heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. Right? Because there's going to be a, a new heaven, which is a new rulership. Okay, because that first, that first heaven is going to pass away, you know, that, 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 you know, that the world being controlled by the hand of the wicked, that's going to pass away. And he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. You see, the Most High himself, Yahweh himself, man, is going to be with us. Hey, how beautiful is that? To be able to be in the presence of the Most High. The scriptures say the Lord's, the Most High's eyes are too, too pure to um, behold um, iniquity. So how, how about that? And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. You see that? No more death, man. You know? No more people dying that are close to us, our loved ones. No more sorrow, you know? I was meditating on this, man. We need to get out of here, man. Strong's G, 3997. Penthos. Penthos. What does it say? Mourning, grief, sorrow. Yeah, man. Nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And our people are full of sorrow and pains and grief. You see? And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. See? The Lord's going to make all things new. And he said unto me, right, for these words are true and faithful. Okay. <clears throat> this is uh, uh, Isaiah 65 and uh, 17. This is what we're looking for, man. Isaiah 65 and 16. That he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the most high of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the most high of truth. Because the former troubles are forgotten. And because they are hid from my eyes. You see? The former troubles are forgotten, man. All the troubles on the earth that we have went through. That we go through even in this, as we came into this knowledge. They're going to be forgotten. And because they are hid from my eyes. Okay, the Lord's going to, you know. He's going to pardon abundantly. For behold, they create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. You see that? Anybody's out there who um, feels like they're living in a bad dream? Hey, well, listen to this. It says, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. Hey, dig that. How beautiful is that for, you know, the things that have happened, that they're not going to be remembered nor come into mind. It says, but be ye glad and rejoice forever and that which I create. You see? Be glad and rejoice. Because the Lord's going to create something better, man. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. You see that? Listen to this. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem. The Lord's going to be happy with us. Yahweh, okay, who, who had to send his only begotten son so that he could bring us back. Because he was, you know, he, he fought against us. 
the scriptures tell you in the book of Psalms, I think it's 90, Psalms 90 or 91, that he abhorred his inheritance. He had hated us, man, because we were wicked, you know. It says, and I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall no more I said, wait, Salak, and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There's going to be no Israelites crying, man. You can wipe away those tears. There ain't going to be no more crying no more. Hey, we're going to get through this, man, you know? I want to read this, too. I thought this was nice. It said, there shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not fulfilled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner be, being a hundred years old shall be accursed. It says, yeah, there ain't going to be no more infant deaths, man. All right? And there's not going to be so much thing as a man not fulfilling his days, you know? We're going to have eternal life, you see? But what do people say? People say, man, I don't want to. What do I want to What do I want to uh, follow God for? Like you gonna give me nothing? The scriptures say eternal life, man. Troubles and your sorrows forgotten. You know, get the whole clean. The the slate's gonna be wiped clean. The, the, all them nightmares gonna be forgotten. All that crap we went through, man. We that ain't gonna come to mind anymore. The Lord's gonna forgive us, man. We ain't gonna be worried about, man. Is the Lord with me? You know, is the Lord gonna suck with me one more day after this shit that I did? You know, after these things that occur, these these miscarries. We ain't going to be worried about these things no more, man. You see? That's what, we're, that's what we have to look forward to, man. Uh, let's see. Right. You know, people, they say they know they're not ready to repent, man. Are you crazy? I'm not ready to... To, 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 uh, you know, they just can't take the pain, you know, but you got to take the pain, man. You, you got, you got to go through a certain purging process. You got to go through things. You don't just give up when times get hard. You got to continue, you know, got to, to the saving of the soul, you know? So there's, there, there's a better place than this, man, you know? So it's worth the fight. It's worth the pain for now, but it's kind of all going to be wiped away, man. You know, you got people saying that, you know, what's better than this? Hey, well, pff, it's a lot better than this, man. It's 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High hath prepared for them that love him. You see? So eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the mind of a man the things which the Most High has prepared for them that love Him. So it's unfathomable. You can't. We can't even think, even though, you know, they talk about pearly gates and streets of gold. The scriptures have a little hint of what's going to come, but we don't really know. That's how good it is. That's how beautiful it's going to be. You know? The Lord said what He would do, that he, all troubles will be forgotten and all things will be hid from His eyes. If that's not worth fighting for, I really don't know what is, man. You know? Because this resonates with us, eternal life. You know, the truth putting in our inward parts that we could, we could, you know, worship the most high, you know, but some people to them, it's like, that has no bearing with them. It's, it's, it's really, that's the last thing on their mind. All right. But there's a better place than this, you know, don't, don't, don't give up the fight. Don't give up hope. There's a better place than this, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. Shalom.